What's up everyone? So today I'm going to show you my latest plane that I've built. It's sort of like a mix between a B25 and like a C130. It's all made out of solid insulation foam from Home Depot that I got, rather than being built out of foam board, which is what I was previously using to build the fuselage. The fuselage walls are all about a half inch thick. I just cut down the, the one and a half inch thick foam to half inch thick sections and then glued them all together with Gorilla Glue and hot glue. The wing has a symmetrical airfoil and it was cut out with my hot wire cutting bow. The nose was, was made of three pieces of the one and a half inch foam that was glued together and then carved out by me looking at a picture of the nose of a C-130 online. And I just carved it out with a X-Acto knife and some sandpaper until it looked good. It has a tail dragger landing gear configuration. The front has two wheels which are supported by some metal wire that I got from the hobby shop. The wire is attached to the fuselage by a zip tie on the back and then just a rubber band that goes across the front and there's a carbon fiber tube that goes through the fuselage that the rubber band wraps around. This is a technique that I learned from flight test, one of flight test older videos. And then on the bottom underneath that metal piece there is two uh, the gift cards or ID cards just to reinforce the bottom of the fuselage on landings. For all the control surfaces they are attached with some nylon hinges which I bought at the hobby shop and the control horns are just old ID cards which I cut up and then used the knife to cut a hole through for the uh, push rod to go through. The wingspan is 57 inches long with a 7 and a 3 quarters inch thick cord. The ailerons are each 16 inches long and 2 and 3 quarters inches wide and they obviously taper at the tip along with the wing. The flaps are 9 inches long and also 2.75 inches wide. Uh, the wing is held onto the fuselage with some rubber bands that wrap around the wing and then attached to some carbon fiber tubes that are glued into the fuselage. There are some popsicle sticks on the front and back of the wing to kind of prevent the rubber bands from bending the foam at that point. The fuselage is 40 inches long from the nose to where the elevator starts to where the end of the actual fuselage is basically. And then between the front of the wing, the leading edge of the wing, and the leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer, it's 23 inches. The horizontal stabilizer is 16 inches long, and then six and a quarter inches wide, with the elevator being two and a quarter inch wide. It has two vertical stabilizers, and each of them are about eight inches wide and six inches high. There are just no rudders on this plane as it utilizes differential thrust from the motors for yaw authority. For the electronics, I'm using two Lumineer 2206 2350 kV motors with uh, HQ 6x4.5 props. These were just some old motors that I had from my old quadcopter. Uh, the bearings are going pretty bad in them so they don't run very smooth but they work fine for the airplanes. I have two Emax 30 amp ESCs. These are just like the old style, really big ones, uh, not the small ones for quadcopters. Uh, there's five Emax ES08MA version 2 servos for the ailerons, elevator, and flaps. I am running a Tyrannus radio, so I have a X8R receiver. I also have a LiPo telemetry sensor for the smart port on the receiver and I have a Turnigy 10 amp BEC which runs all of the servos and the receiver and I have all of the wiring going to a power distribution board which I used to have on my quadcopter but I recently got a smaller power distribution board for that so I use this one on the plane and it works really well for making all the wires look nice and uh, makes it a lot easier to solder it all together to power this plane, I'm using two Lumineer 1300 milliamp hour four cell batteries in parallel. Uh, these are the same batteries I use for my mini quads, so I have a lot of them laying around. And these are the same motors that I use too for the mini quads. So they work really well. I get about 10 minutes of flight time if I'm just cruising around. Obviously, if I do full throttle all the time, it significantly reduces the flight time. 
but this plane can cruise around at like maybe 30% throttle and it's pretty good. I have four different sets of lights which are controlled by an Arduino microcontroller. Uh, the lights are all connected with the ground side going to a Fairchild PN2222A NPN transistor which is turned on and off by the Arduino Nano microcontroller. Uh, the first set of lights are the navigation lights. That's just a solid red light on the left, a solid green light on the right, and a solid white light on the tail. I also have uh, strobe lights, which are just three white lights that flash very fast. One on each of the wingtips and one on the tail. I also have two anti-collision lights, which are just red strobes that flash slowly. There's one on top of the wing and one on the bottom of the fuselage. And then I have the landing lights on the front of the wings. All of these lights are ready-made RC fire LEDs. Most of them are the larger size of the two, but a couple of the strobes I'm using the smaller white ones so they don't overheat too much. But for the landing lights I do have the big ones, so I can't leave them on too long or they will start to melt the hot glue which are on them. And speaking of that, I put hot glue on all of the lights to try and make them visible from the side more so they're not just like a really direct beam kind of diffuses the light a little bit. The paint scheme I went with was from the US Coast Guard C-130 Hercules. Uh, it's a paint scheme that I've really liked and I've tried to use with my older planes just with tape and stuff but this one I really tried to get it as close as I could to the real paint scheme and it's pretty close. It's not perfect but it's good enough. Um, I use Rust-Oleum latex paint and the gloss finish for all of the colors. Uh, I had to do two coats of every color on this except the black, but there's not very many black sections. But the white needed two coats, maybe even three coats in some areas to, to get the uh, pink of the foam to go away. But in the end it turned out really well. The batteries both have velcro on them and they attach to a velcro spot on the front of the fuselage. And then there's a velcro strap which goes around it which is used to secure the batteries in during flight. Here's a video of the maiden flight from my hat cam and my DSLR. And here's some more random videos of it flying around. So thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you have any uh, questions or comments, please leave it below and I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. And if you enjoyed this project or this plane, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.